Hello everyone, I'm Ron Mithra. Welcome back to the beta <laughs> discussion talk that apparently has surprisingly become a monthly thing. I kind of expected this to drop off after two or three months, but hooray, it is continuing. Uh, steady content release is something new, so this is amazing. Four months now in a row. So I am joined once again by Jay Richter. If you want to take a moment to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Jay. For those who don't know me, uh, I am a CCG senior designer. I did uh, a lot of writing for a lot of expansions for the CCG. I did uh, Drifter Night. I'm working on a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, and you've probably seen me around Lantern's Rain if you hang out there. I have bad opinions about Kingdom Death. Um, I would say... No, nah, you, you have good opinions on it, I would say. Um... <laughs> However, <laughs> uh, this month's beta stuff is, there's a lot of them. That's good. We got five things to look at from two releases. Uh, Flower Knight gets some stuff. That's about the ends of the positives that I have to say about this. I would say that this beta stuff is... Uh, the most bland that we've gotten. This adds the least amount of new actual beta rules of any beta drop while also having the most gear cards of any beta drop, which is concerning. Yeah, um, there's two ways of looking at this. You can look at it in the super positive which I am going to look at it in the super positive. The super positive would be they are really busy. Gambler's Chest is really coming down to the wire. It really is nearing completion. It really is getting done. So maybe this was just like a very low minimal effort. So that's the best world. Uh, the darkest world is Poots is completely out of ideas. <laughs> And or burnt out and is going to take a break. <laughs> yeah, I think he might be burnt out. I think that's fine. I think he's actually even said that, that he's been burned out from um, Gambler's Chest and stuff, which is fine. But... Uh, well, he has been working on it for five years. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose to say that this stuff is a result of him working on Gambler's Chest, and that's fine. I said the same thing with the Black Knight, and I said the same thing... As disappointing as it is that this month, August, is going to be Screaming God instead of Griffin, it is, tr it, this, it's a, it's fine if, if Gambler's Chest really does go into production, then it's fine. But if, like, this is, if, if Gambler's Chest gets delayed till the end of the year and we don't have Griffin and, and that's, then it's, then it's just not fine. <laughs> I, I stand firm in my belief that we'll get a, hey, this, this shit's, uh, we have the product, and it's going to start shipping Black Friday yes. to backers. Well, I don't know about Black that Friday, I, but I also agree that, that that's, that's my hope. Production is starting. I will agree with you that production should be within the next weeks. I, I will, I'm, I'm so hoping that we are down to counting down weeks instead of months and years. <laughs> and all, all the plastic has been done for, like, what, two years? <laughs> yeah, probably more. So all that aside, I think this is all fine and great because it's, it's hopefully indicating that Gambler's Chest is really nearing, nearing completion. And that is why this stuff is low effort. I like the artwork. Yeah, uh, well, we'll start with the good ones. The Flower Knight ones first, so Summer Cyrus. Um, well, first off, so the, t the two that were the released are Summer Cyrus and uh, just Doll. So those are the two characters that we got. First being um, some kind of island. It, it's, it's weird the way it reads. I... The lore either says that she's from the island or that 
stuff washes up from the sea and she might not be an islander. What did you read from it? I, actually, nothing connects Cyrus and the doll besides the backer notification newsletter art. Oh, no, yeah, no, which I... Which may or may not be canon. No, I agree. It could just be art. I agree. Nothing does back... Even the, the new thing doesn't really canonically connect them. I was just talking, like... In general, just Cy just Summer Cyrus's lore. It's I can't tell. I can't discern whether or not she's an islander and there's she's living on an island, or if stuff just washes. Like, I think she lives on think islands, it's, right? It's probably coastal, if anything. That's because yeah. uh, saliva shore is a new area, yeah. biome zone, whatever you want to call it. Uh. I'd like to imagine that the whole beach is made of teeth just to creep people out. Um, I am going to assume it is nearby the abyssal woods based on her gear. Yes. Pa yeah. Because yeah, the flower knights and stuff. I don't know if she might be a people to bloom. None of those witches ever get names. Um, she might be a witch. I don't know. I don't think she's a witch. I just, yeah, because she, she's a regular survivor and apparently had quote magma lobster armor unquote. Yes, so I don't know. It's yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to know who Cyrus is. Maybe it's just another internal person they use, and that's who Cyrus is. But it, normally, when you get an adjective and then a name, it's an existing character and then a variant. So maybe Cyrus was some scrapped thing, or maybe she's one of the people. The, the maybe she's one of the witches, because the witches have those huge witches hats, and her summer canthus hat, and the art is huge. That's true. So maybe um, they were just never named, and maybe one of them is named Cyrus. Either way, Cyrus is a new person. We've never seen her before. Maybe we got the summer version before the base version. Yeah. All possible. But either way, so she came with uh, three Flower Knight possible. You don't have to have Flower Knight, but if you do, you can craft it for Flower Knight. Other than that, this is super early game stuff. Uh, some of it. One of that requires Black Lichen, but... One piece is level three locked. One piece is... Uh, no two level one locked or perfect organ locked. And one is just, you can probably make it lantern year two. This stuff is clearly designed at two in the morning, all on a, <laughs> on a design bender to meet a deadline of getting this out. Um, because I, I, I don't, it's just not right. It, it triggers me endlessly that it, the hat has the head armor underneath the... <laughs> The, the value of armor, that's not where it goes. I don't know why it's... not it's where there. that's supposed to go. <laughs> no, I don't know why that's there. Um, it, it triggers me endlessly because you would think all this stuff is on a template. So... <laughs> Maybe this is the new... Um, the, the new template and all the, the chest gear is going to be like this. <laughs> I, maybe because <laughs> originally when I looked at it I was like oh it's because of an accessory but then I remembered that oh wait we, we have accessories that have locations so no that none of the, these aren't new so uh, but anyway yep. so the Sion Acanthus hat is an accessory with one armor It's this is the one that is level 3 locked this is the one that requires a black lichen two fresh acanthus and then either the Sighing Bloom or Perfect Orion. Um, and then this is, when you draw the trap, gain a reroll token. If wearing no armor, gain two. Interesting. Oh man, no armor effects. <laughs> yeah, the wearing no armor thing is kind of, it's easier to obtain depending on the expansions you're using. Harder what are we willing? What are we willing to bet that rolling gear gets the armor keyword in the chest or in a cod? Oh, I have no idea. 
Maybe. I think it will. I don't think it'll change mechanically whatsoever, but it's going to get the armor keyword. The sighing hat's the most interesting of all of them. I like its, I like its design. I like the Cyrus art a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is... It's less good than you think, but not bad. I don't think you'd ever need the two rerolls, so I don't think I think this is just fine. Just getting the one reroll token. Yeah, but you wouldn't need two evasion. <laughs> well, yeah, th it, this gets uh, this gets wonky when you evaluate them all together. <laughs> mm -hmm. But as it is, just this one right here is fine on a trapper. I mean. This is all. This just the fact you're getting a reroll token, and if you put it on a trapper who actually like is a designated trapper, you're probably never gonna fail to cancel that trap anymore. Cause oh yeah, nice. You pair this with the tenth anniversary spear. Yes, the tenth anniversary spear or the sunstalker stuff. So we have the sighing sarong, which is feet for some reason. I'm assuming there's sandals that we can't see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think she has sandals in the art. Yeah, she's wearing Maybe. sandals in the art. Uh, so this is overwear, which I don't know what that means. It means clothes. I, no, I meant like, why is that a gear wear, gear keyword? I don't. Because it's not armor. I don't know. I mean, I kind of understand the like underwear kind of one that we're going to talk about because maybe that suggests that you know it's underwear that you could wear it under armor because that's what the accessory you, keyword does yeah you you wear this over armor yeah but I it's suppose. but is this so sort does of, yeah so does overwear prevent you from wearing the veal stuff no because uh keywords do absolutely nothing by themselves and only exist to be referenced yeah but I, I mean this didn't even come with a living glossary update so this keyword literally means nothing until something references well, all, it yeah all keywords mean nothing they don't they a yeah. keyword never does anything on its own yeah they only exist to be referenced yeah and this is not referenced by anything so i don't even know why Correct. It it. you would think if you were going to put a keyword on something you'd have it referenced by something finesse <laughs> yeah um, so this is just on arrival get a reroll token. This is just blatantly good. The the recipe is ridiculous. Just costs an endeavor, a cloth, and a perfect organ. Uh this is this is amazingly good. I don't understand. Or a sighing bloom. I'll play yeah. it by sighing bloom personally. Yeah, this is uh it's even it's even got two armor. So it, it's for some reason call it. He has more armor, but has less cost. The other one costs a black... You could make this literally land near one and has more armor. The other one needs a black lichen and has less armor. It doesn't make any sense. The stuff was made at 2 a.m., Jay. Maybe they... I can't, I can't uh, handle it. <laughs> I, don't, I, I like any recipe that uses cloth. I don't... It's... Blunt. I feel like everything in Kingdom Death that's really, really good is blunt and simple. Lantern armor, blunt and simple. Yeah. This is bow mastery, blunt and simple. This costs. This this has no cost to it. This is just a perfect organ cloth you get for free, and then it just costs an endeavor, and you get. It's better than rawhide gear, Jay. <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> I, I'm not defending this. It's a pretty skirt. <laughs> you get it's it's a waist and a boot. You get two pieces of gear for one for one resource. <laughs> the, how do you how do you how do you cost creep rawhide? <laughs> well, the best part is. You you can use this with rawhide. You don't need. The I know hat. the stuff. And the hat still works with rawhide. I don't understand. Why is this two armor? This stuff. This it. Um. Mm -hmm. Because you're 
putting a thing onto something that's already one armor. I guess, but the shoes aren't even in the picture, Jay. <laughs> They're in my heart. I don't... This is the worst beta stuff. It's bad. And the, there's nothing interesting here. <laughs> so next we have a Canthus underwear. Um, nice. Which I would have thought would have been... a. I mean, it's she's called Summer Cyrus... Why isn't this a Canthus swimsuit? Or a Canthus bikini. Yes, I don't understand. So it's just underwear because... The the best thing about this is, like, for all the, uh... What, the pantsu witch people. Look, underwear's a keyword, so... Clearly, pantsu witch now can target underwear, and there'll be something to target, so... Confirmed, it'll be an, an underwear head accessory. <laughs> so... And then here we go with this. This this just this just costs a fresh acanthus and a endeavor. Endeavor. That's it. And you get plus one strength and plus one evasion for each reroll token you have. So basically, for the cost of a fresh acanthus, two endeavors, and a perfect organ, you're gonna have almost a full suit with one evasion. This is completely scope crept. Rawhide armor? The worst armor in the game, Jay! This is scope crept it and power crept it. I don't understand. I, I mean, it's still not as good as Sunstalker armor, probably. I guess, but you have a full set of armor here for the cost of one fresh acanthus, a cloth, and a perfect organ. Well, minus the head. And, I guess you're not, you don't and, have head, but... You don't have the head. Um... You do have three waist armor, though. Yeah, I do, you, you have a full armor set here, pretty much. I don't, I don't understand. This stuff is... So now you let's... Also, if, yeah. If you use them all together, you, you have like... If you assemble all the Dragon Balls, you are a very evasive person. Yeah, you can get... I mean, you... you Pretty much, you just wear this, you just show up, it's the beach episode, so you just show up in the beach wear, in, uh, with your, with your, was it, the rudder, the records? No, almanac? No. Uh, Philosopher records, of, Scholar of scholar Death. Scholar of Death. You show up with scholars, Scholar of Death, and you're gonna have, like, what, pushing six evasion? Uh, so three from Scholar of Death, one from the, uh, skirt is four evasion, uh, smack the trap, that's six evasion. Smack the trap again, that's eight evasion. Yeah. That's not counting the fact that uh, Grease is very to easy to activate with this. Yep. I mean, plus, you're probably going to have people, this, uh, or not people, uh, what's the one that gives reroll anyway? Survival of the Fittest, that's going to get plus one evasion. Uh, well, no, because that's not a token. That's a lifetime reroll. No, but I just meant you only need nine evasion to the point where, like, that's all you need because a ten's going to hit anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. So you just take take a grease, these three pieces of gear, and an almanac, and you got your plus eight evasion. I'm going to be using this probably because I want a reason to hunt Flower Knight. Yeah, it's good for Flower Knight. I mean... I I have a question, however. Oh? Why would you want to go swimming in saliva? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there, it's also the rust... <laughs> Maybe. Old, well, Dahl comes from the rust ocean. I guess they didn't say whether or not Summer Cyrus does, but... I mean, a, maybe it's a saliva sea that dumps out into the rust ocean. It's hard to map out Kingdom Death because it's very schizophrenic as far as biomes go yeah so we'll talk Cyrus, about rust rust ocean and doll. <laughs> yeah rust ocean and doll um cool lore oh yeah for sure i like the lore i think she was supposed to be a generic but they needed to hit their beta quota i agree yeah this stuff is made at 2 a.m this stuff 
I don't. This this I we're gonna talk. We're not gonna talk about the sword right away. We're gonna talk about the mechanical heart. The sword is okay. beyond triggering. I hate the sword <laughs> so much. Um. <laughs> so let's let's talk about the craft thing. The way you craft this is at least cool. You're not crafting it. You're getting it. Yeah. Well, I meant like it's the, unique as far as that goes. The way it's implemented, I should have said. The way this is implemented shows that maybe there'll be something in the chest that gets around Harvester. But then again, as we've seen from Poots' comments, which I asked him directly about Beta Gear, we talked about this last time, he has no plans for this, and this stuff is designed at 2 a.m. without anybody else looking at it. So that means that this, like, implementation might not be in the chest. So there might not be anything that avoid Harvester. <laughs> Rue. But, so the way this is implemented is, if you've reached the finale, which is the old Gold Smoke Knight thing in the original game, and now at 1.5 it's Cyclops Knight. Well, Cyclops Knight gives you the thing to fight Gold Smoke Knight. Yeah. And then uh, you instead find the ruins of a broken doll, meaning that dolls are canon, so, like, doll isn't necessarily the name of that thing, it's a thing. It's a doll. Yeah, it's a doll. So doll isn't her name. Doll is just a thing that's in the bottom of the Rust Ocean. Uh, then you gain the Mechanical Heart and the Needle Sword Beta Gear. Once per campaign. Uh, uh, Bloodborne reference, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's neat. There's got to be some reason. I don't understand... I don't know if they're trying to imply that. I don't know what they're trying to imply here, can, like lore wise. I don't know if they're trying to draw that if you, you know, like the, the shores of the Rust Ocean is the end of the world, that's why it's the finale, like you've traveled as far as possible. Or if it's trying to imply that the dolls are made by Cyclops Knight. That's possible. He is supposed to be the greatest craftsman in, in the setting. Yeah, but then so then he's dumping his creations in the Rust Ocean. Well, no, he. It, it's possible it was commissioned by the Islanders for the princess from the Cyclops Knight. It's wild conjecture, but that's okay. what I'm going <laughs> with. Yeah, I don't know. Cyclops Knight has been known to help out. Obviously, he gives you the Thunder Maul. I think it's implied somewhere that he makes the Twilight Swords or uh, no, had, those... or showed showed the Order oh, Weaponsmiths yeah, how to make the Twilight Swords. That could be possible because they deal they drive you insane slowly, and that's what Lantern City is. Those people down there are insane. Mm -hmm. So that's possible as well. Uh, it's interesting. I don't know why they chose Finale. I don't know. One, I don't know why you would choose Finale if there was no lore link, but also because you can just get this whenever you want on the perfect person because of Thundercaller. Uh, yes, but also Barbaric is bad compared to Romantic. Well, it depends. Uh, Neil Sword is kind of game-breakingly amazing, so... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if the cost is getting Needle Sword... Uh, let's talk about mechanical heart here. So I don't. It contains the only new gear rule in this entire beta drop. Yes, center, which is a unique thing that was blatantly. It's very easy to tell what this meant. It was blatantly obvious from this. Didn't even need to see the living glossary. The second it even showed up on the thing, everyone knew what it was. Yes. So center uh, just you means. Can only place it, yeah, you can only place it in the center of the uh, board. Yep, of your gear grid, it needs to be, yep. And then you can never remove it. So, uh, mechanical heart here, well, okay. Uh, so you you want to talk about this, and then we'll go into the world of 2AM design. Um, okay, so it's got green all sides. It is an item, it is metal, and it is heavy. 
uh, which means cracks in the ground, you die. Um, it's cursed. Uh, it's center only. Uh, you also have to throw away anything that was already in the center of your gear grid. Uh, the effect, uh, no activation cost whatsoever. Uh, add nine to all hit locations. Uh, reduce all damage you suffer, or all reduce damage you suffer to one. Not by one, to one. Uh, you can no longer remove your armor or, or gain armor points. So how I read this is that your armor is nine, and it will never go back up. It doesn't refresh when you come back to the settlement, etc., etc. That's what makes Thundercaller so much more amazing, because you can... You can roll 100 during your hunt events and then just choose not to do this because it says you may, and then you can use Thundercaller to get this exactly on the person you want it to be on, which is how you should do this because if you don't you don't want someone to be wearing a complete thing with something good in the center and then this just throws it out and then the sword throws it out and then your armor is permanently lost in that person because they can't remove armor, so all that's stuck in that person's gear grid. The entire point of this gear is to make one survivor really strong, but also a consumable that will eventually run out. Yes. Now, you pointed out a handy-dandy way to get around that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a... How, how would you like to be smacked 999 times? <laughs> yes. Uh, you just... Because of Thundercaller, you just do this. You just... Get an immortal survivor, and then when you choose barbaric, you make the immortal one the thundercaller, and then you just get this a person who's only going to take one damage forever. <laughs> then smack the king of a thousand battles. Yes, and it's even worse. I noticed that right away before I'd even seen Needle Sword, but it gets so much worse with Needle Sword. <laughs> oh, it's Needle At least Needle Sword's frail. Before we go to Needle Sword. Uh, th this mechanical. What is he? What's what's happening here with mechanical heart? I guess that do androids dream of electric sheep? Is the doll alive? Yes. Is well, just, Deckard a replicant? Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering. <laughs> but that's why I thought this would be from Manhunter, right? Because at least that is like the thing's crawling back, right? And then it then when it gets inside the thing, then it recreates you, right? the person who had it your heart crawls out yeah. or whatever but this is just a thing that i guess you just pick up and jam into your s chest and you or then... on your chest maybe just kind of like sockets in and then yeah so then it like you become metal i guess yes okay we'll, we'll go with that <laughs> okay <laughs> i was just wondering but apparently yeah so you come, the survivors are unbelievably stupid, so they found a heart, and they were like, look, this looks like the thing I assume from all the dissections of other survivors that, that I've done, this goes inside me, so I'm going to cut out my own heart and put this in. <laughs> upgrade, yeah, upgrade, upgrade. Um, okay, let's talk about Needle Sword. Needle uh, Sword's really, really good. <laughs> Needle Sword is unbelievably good. Needle Sword is Counterweight X. The old Counterweight X. But better? It's it's cursed and frail, at least. Oh, don't forget about Rebar, Jay. Shut up. I hate you. And Rebar. Uh, this might be the only thing worth rebarring. But you don't even have to rebar this. There's, this is... Okay, you know, I've slowly been building up with all these reviews, saying that, like, I don't... No one else looks at this besides Poots, right? Th that's pretty much solid. No one else No one else looks at this stuff. There's no need... The armor location, the, like, the head and the weight... The, the icons that show what armor... They're in the wrong place on these cards. These cards say, this gains, which is unnecessary. You don't need to say that on any of the cards. There's been typos in this beta stuff. So no one else looks at this. But you have to question, why did they nerf Counterweight X? Was it, 
I, I thought it was because they knew the power of counterweight X, right? They knew the problem with it. Now I'm starting to think the community told them it needs to be changed because there's an issue, and then they just did it, and they don't understand why they did the change. <laughs> this just opened the door again to making this... You never... You, you can just kill a monster here. Yeah. I think Poots missed his counterweight X. I guess. Infinite Insanity is not difficult to get. Like, it, it's not something a normal player will get, but it's not something that if you want to get, it's not difficult to do. Like, it's not trying to assemble green armor. Infinite Insanity is much easier to do than Green Armor. Oh yeah, no, it's... Mm. I... Th this... and the Toximitar are the two beta pieces that I'm just not going to use. Yeah, this is... All um... and uh, Bedar are, are the two. They're too much. I'm even going to use the Acanthus underwear and all that good stuff. Yeah, those this are all fine. Bit much... So the, the problem is this is Butcher's blood is the problem with this. For anybody who doesn't know, the reason why Counterweight Axe, or I what I always assumed Counterweight Axe was changed to limit it to once per attack, was because just in case you got Butcher's blood, where you could just get infinite speed, and then, you know, with infinite speed, with infinite perfect hits, you're never going to have to draw hit location cards. The monster will just die from you doing infinite perfect hits. It will die, yeah, that's and you, that's so. That's why it was changed. Counterweight X was changed to say limit once per attack. This does not have that on here, meaning that Poots does not understand why Counterweight X was changed, which is a bad thing. That's bad for the game in general. If people, if they're making changes that they don't understand, if they're just taking what the community tells them to do and they just do it, kind of like with Vespertine Bow, I always kind of defended Vespertine Bow, saying it's not a terrible nerf. But again, I think they just changed it to one strength because everybody said to do it, so they just did it. They don't know why they do it. Doesn't matter. Counterweight X, oh, it needs to be limit one per attack. I don't know why. I'm not going to investigate why, but I'll just make the change. But here yeah. it is again. Here it is. Just right back. Get Butcher's Blood. Butcher's Blood is for every 10 insanity, you gain plus one strength, plus one speed. Get yourself infinite insanity. How you get infinite insanity, you can do Hiccup from Gorm, you can break the jaw of a white lion. The base game has an infinite insanity loop. You just break the jaw of the white lion, it draws Chomp, and then it just vomits up and everybody gets insanity. It's the same thing as Hiccup, only you need to be adjacent. So the core game has an infinite insanity loop. You don't need Gorm to do it. There's King of a Thousand Battles will give you definitely enough. You just get Butcher's Blood with King of a Thousand Battles. That's 103 attacks. You'll probably do 20 perfect hits if you're doing it on a 7 or 8 plus. Probably I'm, gonna get twenty no. in there. Uh, King of a Thousand Battles is nine hundred and ninety nine insanity. Well, this has three speed. Yeah, fair enough. So you gain. So yeah, yeah. hundred and two. Hundred and two uh, hits. No, no, it'd be a thousand and two hits. No, it's for every ten insanity you gain one speed. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. So yeah. hundred and two hits. Hundred and two hits, and again, you don't. It just suffers a. It just suffers a wound on a perfect hit. You don't even need to. You, have, you don't need to draw the. Hit location cards if the if the monster's dead. Correct. So frail is pointless. It doesn't matter if it's frail because you're not drawing hit location cards. Also, counterweight X said instead. Even the bad version of counterweight X, when you hit with a perfect hit, said instead of drawing hit locate you do a you do a wound instead of drawing. This you do the wound, and then you still draw, and then you can wound it and do another wound. And then you can uh, blood stained oath or uh, sweat stained oath or whatever it's called, yes, you, and then do three wounds. Sweat stained oath to give your sword devastating, and then when you roll a perfect hit, the monster suffers a wound. That weapon is dealing the wound, therefore it's devastating. So it's going to do two wounds because the way oh, no. yeah, the way devastating is written. Whenever the monster deals a wound from your attack with a sword, it takes damage. I don't think that's how that's intended, but you can certainly read it like that, Rye. 
Yeah, well, raw, I, again, that's that's how it's written. It just says whenever two we're... in the morning. <laughs> this this isn't even two in the morning. This is just not understanding why Counterweight Axe was nerfed, and I don't I don't like that. I would have thought that he before you make changes in one point six, I would have thought you would have understood why you're making changes. You don't just do what the community tells you and then just do that. Uh, it's called acquiescing to complaints, which is not something you should ever do as a developer. No. Uh, I'm going to say that now. Don't listen to Reddit or Discord unless you are actively asking them to debug your game. Cough, Bethesda Game Studios, cough. Or at least, if you are going to take community feedback, at least understand why they're telling you to do that. Yes. Have a place to be given well-formulated community feedback. Make a public test server. Is that what beta content is? Is beta content the PTS? Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> he's not He's not wanting feedback from the, on this stuff. I asked him directly, so... Under normal gameplay circumstances, this isn't that bad, but Kingdom Death is an easily broken game. Yeah, I agree. Like it's, it, it's... But... It, <laughs> was fixed in the card pack. <laughs> yes. It was fixed. Maybe Butcher's Blood will be changed in COD. Then why Then why fix the, the counterweight X? This stuff is too... I don't get it, Jay. <laughs> I'm losing my mind when I saw this. <laughs> interesting in concept. Uh, that, uh, that's once per turn. Uh, interesting in concept. No, it's not. It's boring in concept. <laughs> Well, I'm talking about the replacing finale to have an alternate hunt event on a card as a recipe. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. That's a very interesting concept. It's something that should be done with Harvester. Like, if you have Forbidden... Di or a, what, Heart Flute. Like, it should... That, like, that... that the fact that, that they're writing things now that interact with the actual hunt events. Like, you could update Heart Flute to say, when you reach Harvester and you have the Heart Flute, you can re-roll it or something. Mm -hmm. that's the interesting concept the outside of the box thinking for how to get it is interesting uh, center is fine center's fine it's boring, center's really, it's boring yeah. rule but it's, yeah, I guess it's a good thing to have in the toolbox I will now make the north south east west rules and the northeast southeast uh, northwest and southwest rules yes it can get a little bit weird when you don't use anything but center, but center is a neat thing if it's handled correctly, and this at least gives you all three, all four sides green. I don't want to talk about doll anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Not not the best of beta gear here. This is the bottom of the barrel, I think. These, uh... Which is fine. I'm 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 really hoping that this shows that Gambler's Chest is nearing completion and all of his creative juices are going into Gambler's Chest and all of his time is going into Gambler's Chest and this was just a f final massive fury push of blind do very little no new rules just copy paste some other old rules and stuff and get it out to release the deadline. <laughs> oh maybe this wasn't even made by Poots maybe i mean that, that that's that's why all the armor and everything's in the wrong location <laughs> it's the wrong direction maybe harold made this yeah there we go or maybe it's that fucking raccoon the raccoon did it there you go the raccoon made this he messed, put all of its stuff he messed in the wrong up spot. all the gear get your freaking pet and a leash chipping chan yeah this, that's my head cannon yeah. i mean this is very uninspiring so i would hope that Maybe Poots didn't make it. Maybe that's why it's so uninspiring. The chest taking up all the space in the oven, and he had to like cook this on top of the radiator, so it's kind of raw. Yeah, maybe he just copy pasted old one point five kind of way to axe and didn't think about it. It's fine. Mm. It's fine. Anyway, we're gonna we could be here for three hours harping on that thing. Yeah, but... I'm, I'm. I'm. This beta is all fine. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to next time. See what we get. It'll, it'll be awesome. 
we're going to get a brand new uh, hybrid armor set. It's going to make hunting phoenixes viable. Oh, all right. I'm putting that out in the universe. All right. Um, you you got to put positive thoughts into the universe. Yeah. Put positive thoughts. That's that's it. That's what we're doing. Gambo's chest is coming. We're getting August Black update. Black Friday. Black Friday, baby. Yeah, um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> positive thoughts. Gambo's chest is coming. So, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next month. No problem as always, man. Always fun to be on here. <laughs>